Hello everyone, my name's Norma and I'm from Crafted by Norma or Craft with Norma. Uh, I'm a new member of the Graphics Fairy Design Team and I am so thrilled. Uh, gosh, where do I start? Uh, we have access to the premiere site and when I first had a look I was just totally overwhelmed if I'm honest and uh, my first project had to be ready for September so uh, I only got to find out about it mid-August so um, went on the site and was oh just as I say overwhelmed with everything that was available so had to decide what I was going to do and my first port of call really was to this um, paper and uh, it's called Beautiful um, Script and uh, to be fair it is and I thought I would theme my whole journal around this, um, this paper. So my journal itself is made from craft card, A4 craft card and manila envelopes and that's the, the very very base of my, um, my journal. And the first thing I did was go and have a look at everything that was to my colour palette, bearing in mind the paper that I was going to use right the way through uh, the journal. And I'm going to start with this little book first, because this little notebook, um, I've printed out quite a few of these now, and um, I do love it. So I've downsized it to be uh, 4 to an A4 size paper. And it actually comes from the 19th century phonology bungle, if I said that right. And you just put print two together and then glue them. And then just, well, I've hand sewn um, two signatures into this one. Uh, and because it's a bit chunky, <laughs> it wouldn't fit into the journal, if I'm honest. So I've just done that as a, as a little uh, extra to go with the journal. And... Um, then I just pick things out of various um, printables and bundles. So I've used the 19th century uh, phonology bundle. I've used the black and white apothecary label. Um, but I've printed all my labels on coloured card to make them look a little different. The tags uh, I've used, I've used the custom distress tag bundle and utilised some of the tags that's in there. The mini planner uh, icons I've used, and it's the note paper number two, which I'll explain a bit further into the journal. I've used the cabinet of curiosity, and there were so many bits and pieces in there that I totally loved. Uh, the Di digital people photos number two bundle, uh, which is where this gentleman came from, and the steampunk apothecary shop bundle. So they're the ones that I've used the most out of. Uh, and that include the labels and all the other bits and pieces that you'll see. So the journal itself is eight and a quarter inches by five and a half inches. And that was dictated by the fact that I've used A4 craft paper. And it's two sheets of A4 craft which are glued together and it makes a really stiff card um, as the, uh, the cover. And then I've just used half a size, uh, which is an A5 size, to make the little notebook that I've made here in the front of the journal. Uh, but the um, way I've put the closure is I've just used a piece of the uh, A4 card and just made a little thing that looks a bit like that to slot in and then I can use this little piece of old jewellery that slots into there which holds the, the book um, closed. And it's giving you a little bit of freedom. You can tighten this if you want to, you just alter it there. Um, but that's how I uh, open and close. And then I've got a little chain of all sorts of bits and bobs. So it's a, a broken uh, bracelet. But I've added to it the little tiny bottle there the apothecary bottle and a little label and I've coloured the inside of the bottle using alcohol inks just to sort of give it that aged um, look and then some other bits and bobs and tags and things um, as, they, as they dangle as such. So here we've got a label and then I've made a tag and what I've gone and done is left his legs um, free from any, any glue and he just then latches into there like that and holds the tag in place 
and because I've glued the notebook sort of three way round uh, the corners, you've got space there to put a little journaling card. So if I just slot that into there like so. And then that opens up and again we've got a load of uh, different papers um, that uh, fit in there to journal on. And I quite like this paper, which is just photocopy paper that I've uh, coffee stained. And I laid it on the back of one of my chairs in the garden. And that's the imprint that came out. So that was a happy accident. But moving on. So if we open the book out, as I say, the whole theme is based on this um, backing paper that I've used. So here I've just made a little notebook folder uh, and just put some odd pieces of paper in there as a uh, little notebook. And again, you'll see all the little um, signs and tags and other bits and pieces all come from the uh, Premier site. And again, as does this, but I've got them printed this on a very, very thin paper. And I think it looks um, quite cool because it makes it look more sort of aged um, as, a, as a letterhead as such. And then I've just gone and ripped the edges with my uh, rip ruler. So uh, it's not just a straight edge and that just slots into there. And then here I've used an old envelope and uh, I've gone and fastened it to the side of the book so that flips open like that and then you've got a little tag that slots into there and as I say that uh, all the bits and pieces do come out of the uh, Premier site um, although these two are actually uh, from my personal stash but all the other bits and pieces do come from the uh, Premier site. And that flips over there and then we've got a little tag that just holds that in place. And then here we've got, uh, because it's an envelope, it's made from an envelope, you've got empty space between hand. So that just slots uh, in there like that as the extra journal in space. And then we turn this over and we've got the other side then of the envelope. And if I just pull this down and pull that out... You can see where the envelope's there and I've just gone and put one of the, um, the tags. And as I say, the tags came from the uh, custom distress tags bundle, bundle that I've gone and used. And again, that just slots into that window space there using it on an index card. That goes there. And then I've just added a couple of bits. That's from my own bundle. Um, of uh, my own bundle of goodies that I've got that just slots into place there like so and then that slots there and then is held in place by that uh, that tag that's there and then here we've just got another area as a little pocket and I've just made an envelope there's a, an after dinner games um, set that I got from uh, one of the uh, car boots that we have here and then one of the tags uh, with just some sari ribbon that's been stapled um, to it just to give it a bit of texture and then here instead of having it on the top I'm just going to put the journaling card just there uh, on the side there as uh, extra journaling space and then on this side I've got a card and I've just gone and stamped um, uh, an image on that and that opens this out then like so so you've got more journaling space here and you've got a card that slots into there like that and that folds back down and then you can keep that there and it'll keep it all in place and then we've got one of our really large paper clips now the idea of the large paper clips is that it goes through both sides and it's ideal just to um, slot things in and out um, and again I've just made a couple of tags on a safety pin there but uh, this time I've just used one large tag to go into the side there to journal on. And again, that's from the, um, the distressed tag bungle. I just like the, uh, the sort of faux leathery look on the, on the tag. But again, there's so many ideas that um, people have put in there. It's, uh, it's really good. So again, this is the other side of the paper clip. And I've just made some tags there to go um, on there. And then here we have a gentleman with a skull in his hand. And I'm almost certain that's from the um, 
Cabinet of Curiosities bundle because um, that's got all sorts of weird and wonderful things as is that little image there of the um, the balm bottle and again we've got one on the top there that pulls out for you to journal on and then that comes across here and we've got another tag that pulls out and then that opens up here and you've got some more journaling space and I've just put some journaling card there um, for some extra writing space and then we've got a belly tag here and I've got just two uh, images from my own bundle and then again this is from the curiosity shop um, bundle I'm sure it's it's from that bundle and then here on the side we've got two this time tags that slide in and out for uh, extra journaling space there as such and then this turns over and I've just made another form of notebook um, and again using the, um, the beautiful script uh, paper and as you see I've heavily distressed uh, around the edges to give it a sort of aged look and there we have a, a load of um, lined paper to journal on and then we come to the very last um, inside of the uh, closure and I've gone and made one of my faux um, pens from ostrich feathers uh, which is uh, quite uh, easy and simple to uh, to make but looks quite effective to go in the journal and I should imagine yes you could write with it if you were so inclined as such but I just thought it just gives it a nice little feel of something more vintage and then here we've just got four little studs which hold this clasp in place ready for your signature to go on so that is my first project using all the images and the printables uh, and the bundles that um, are available in the Premier site and I'm sure you won't be disappointed uh, in what you can actually find and I only just looked at the colour palette this time uh, and I was very pleased with uh, what was there available. I do like, hope that you like um, what I've produced and I look forward to seeing you again in the future. Thank you for watching. Thanks. Bye.